Next, we'll look at another control source, which is the voltage-controlled current source. And this is given by a symbol, which is similar to a current source, but again we use a diamond instead of a circle to distinguish independent sources from controlled sources. And also we have to have controlling nodes. What this says is, if the voltage between uh, let us say N 1 and N 2 is V x, that will cause a current some g times V x to flow from N 3 to N 4. Okay. So, now this g obviously has dimensions of conductance okay because it multiplies a voltage and results in a current it has dimensions of conductance okay sometimes this is called the transconductance of the voltage controlled current source it's common to abbreviate voltage control current source as VCCS similarly for all the other control sources. Okay. So, again because uh, this current is G times V x, which is a linear function of V x, this control source is linear. As I said, all the control sources we consider will be linear. Now, what does this uh, mean again? Let us say we had a voltage controlled current source let us say given by g equals 1 milli siemens. It means that if I apply 1 volt on this side and let us say the other side is connected to some circuit, okay, it causes a current of 1 milliamp to flow over there. Okay. Now, as I had mentioned while discussing uh, independent current sources, just drawing current source like this with open circuited nodes is not legitimate because it violates Kirchhoff's current law, but it is cumbersome to keep connecting some arbitrary circuit. You have to imagine that if this is connected to some circuit, it causes a flow of a certain amount of current given by the value of the either the independent current source or the controlled current source. Okay. And sometimes this controlled current source is also known as a dependent source, okay, because the value of the control source, whether it is voltage or current, depends on some other variable in the circuit. Okay. Again, this voltage controlled current source does not correspond to a physical element like a resistor, but it is a model for something and it turns out that a voltage controlled current source is a good model for many active devices such as the transistor. We will not be discussing that here, but later when you come to transistors, you will see that the behavior of the transistor under certain conditions is well modeled by a voltage controlled current source.